Let's go you dub So with the nickel slot cornerback being a concern, would you consider bringing back Mike Hilton? Or would you draft a guy like Chris Abrams' drain? All right, so I got to check on Chris Abrams' drain. Yeah, I have no clue who that yeah, is. Yeah, I'm still catching up to Kool-Aid. There's a cat named Kool-Aid coming out of the draft. McKinstry. Yeah, man, I'm like, well, I love his name. I knew about him <laughs> from two years ago yeah. when Bama played uh-huh. LSU. I was like, I love oh, the wow. name, Kool-Aid. Yeah. This, is, this is awesome. This would be awesome to get this guy on the Steelers. <laughs> Yo, yo, anytime you get one of them cool names, like, yo, shout out, shout out to that, man. So, um, but I will definitely get caught up on Chris Abrams since it is uh, off season now, babe. I got, I got more time on my hands now, D. It was weird this weekend having just a Saturday, Sunday. I was like, yo, I just, just feels a little extra time space, man. Yeah. So now I'm going to have a lot, a lot more time. So definitely looking forward to it. But yeah, man, we will tap into Chris Abrams, man, and uh, I'll learn about him. But um, Mike Hilton, you know, I'm always not for money Mike to come back, even though he has been with the Bengals. And he be liking them too. It's kind of crazy. But um, yeah, I'm always down for Mike to come back. Uh another one, I don't know if we would ever do it again. That probably wouldn't work. But bro, the way my lab be playing, I'm like, bro, we have one right there. Well, that's gotta be over there in Baltimore cooking. That well, could we be like over to here. Desmond King too. You cooking. Yeah. I'm just over here like, bro, all these Steven little options, Nelson all these little options. good for the Texans Cook. this year. All them, I'm like, yo, yeah, dang, all these little ones right there. Steven Sands we just returned a punt in the play. Uh, no, that was a kick, that was a kick to the crib. Yeah, it was a punt. That was a punt, To the crib, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. He looked fast, too. As soon as he did, I was like, wife. Man. I was like, that's, that's, that's Steven. I was like, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sims was a guy Kenny could, could rely on in the mm-hmm. receiving game, too. No, he definitely was, man. He, he definitely like was. He wasn't prolific or anything, but Sims made some good catches for yeah. us last year, or in 2022. So, clearly, we're, we're finding the right talent. We just, I don't know, the situations just ain't working. The timing isn't working right. We ain't keeping them. Dawson. All them dudes was in here. Yeah, all them dudes was in here. All of them. How you feel about say? Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, it was clearly a downgrade getting rid of him and bringing in Pat P. <laughs> clearly a downgrade. Didn't think it would be that bad. In fact, I thought you know there could have been always Pat say P. Yeah, we always say yeah, 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 maybe yeah, was yeah. an upgrade or at least could be equal <laughs> yeah. at less of the price. This is accurate, bro. Yeah, bad call. I mean, I don't know what we were offering Cam, but probably would have been worth it to nah. give him a couple extra million. Like, I don't know if we would have got up to the number that Detroit did. Because Detroit 11. ended up doing like, was it 11? I thought it was 12. I thought it was up, yeah. 11 or 12. Yeah. Pat P was around 7. I, yeah. I mean, I thought getting Cam back for Sutton, Camp Sutton back for 7 would have been fair. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe we had to go to double digits. And right now, I wish we would have went to double digits. Well, we'll find a little something, bit though. more. We'll find something. We'll find something. We got some options. Having him and JPJ. <coughs> we got some options, man. Corey Trice on the back burner. Hey, look, man, nice. and, and worst case, if you need a, a tough as nails, you know, dude that's been doing it, starter experience, kind of inexpensive right now, local connection, pit ties. Just got a corner to Dane Jackson. You know, so he might be available to come back to the crib. Just throwing it out there, bro. As our CB2? No, nah, just in the mix, man. Kind of like the, the Levi. Like how we Levi came here. I think Levi first year. Levi first year when, you know, he ain't your main dude, but he's still going to come in here and give you some production, and you're going to feel good about him. Tough dude. Yeah, he smart was player. He was our CB2's first year, though. He was like. Yeah, because of injuries, he's had to play so much more. So he's grown and developed a ton. But it's like, that's another one you just want in your mix like that, bro. It's a high-end piece for you, man. Can help you out. Now, that's only if it leaves up there, because I don't want to leave up there. But I'm like, it has to pick connection. And it's local. Sign him and still draft the guy, though. No, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Because you're bringing Corey Trice back, but Corey Trice is coming from an ACL, bro. So it's just like, we don't know what that is going to look like, man. Yeah, the Trice stuff doesn't determine from drafting. We don't know what it's going to look like. So that's why I'm like, bro, I would bring in Dane in free agency. I don't think that's going to cost too crazy, almost like the Milet situation, or even to an extent. I don't even, it's not expensive as uh, Shannon Sullivan that we brought in. It wouldn't even be to that extent. But I think you're still going to get a high-quality player that just helps you win a glue dude that can outside corner, inside corner. Could bump back and play some safety, give need. you some teams. Yeah. Tough dude, you know what I mean? Like them type of cats, that's what you want to have. If you don't have – you obviously want your superstar. You got your JPJ already. You're still going to draft something potentially. But you want another piece because, as we've seen, bro, injuries happen. And it ain't no worse feeling. Then when that injury, and it's another one, now you're like, bro, who, what, where are we turning to? 
you could never have enough of them type of players, man. 